Welcome to my Mythic Portal Keeper Guide. Um, let's just go ahead and start with talents. We three tank this. Um, I, we find it much easier. Basically, we have two people on the boss and the ads the entire time, and then one tank does the platforms and then they uh, do the, the other mechanics like carrying orbs around, doing debuffs, and just CC and ads. So, for this fight, I'd highly recommend Abyssal Strike, Fallout, Flame Crash, Fracture, Sigil of Chains. Spirit Bomb, and if you're main tanking, uh, the boss, Soul Barrier, Demonic are both good. Basically, anything that has a lot of ticking damage, Soul Barrier is decent. Uh, Demonic Fusion is really good because the debuff is physical damage, so the more uptime of Demon Spikes, the better. Or Last Resort as a safety net, so any three here could be decent, so what, whatever you really prefer. Uh, gear wise. Again, this is completely dependent on what role you're actually filling. Legendaries, Pride Ass would be okay, nothing great. Um, Cloak of Fell Flames would be okay, nothing great. Like I said, a lot of the damage that's going to kill you is physical damage. If you're the third tank, the mechanics tank, honestly, you can use whatever you want. Um, the belt for damage is really good. The pants for survivability is good. The boots is actually really good because there's a lot of AOE. Safus is amazing because there's a lot of interrupts. Um, Insignia is great if you have great tier 2 crucible talents for single target damage. And Archimond is really good for single target damage and see as just a shield. I ended up using um, Insignia and Archimond, I believe. Because as a third tank, and honestly what I'm doing is kind of irrelevant. I'm doing the mechanics, so there's really no chance of me dying besides maybe on the poison platform. So my damage is kind of important, but again, I'm always jumping around and going to different platforms, doing debuffs, so it's... Yeah, basically you're like a CC um, bot is what you're doing with a little tank. Two-piece tier 20 is good. Uh, wherever I have it up here. So two piece your 20 is good. Um, four piece is okay if you have a high level. Um, high eye level. Four piece, that's okay. Two piece is okay as well. Other trinkets um, is physical damage. I use Dimas. Um, you could use Dark Moon cards really good. Withered Heart of Darkness. If you're doing AoE, maybe War Glaives. Or Kil'jaeden's Burning Wish is really good for AoE. So it really just comes down to what role you're filling and what you're looking to do. And consumables, agility flask, agility food, potion of prolonged power or old war, and your rune. So let's go ahead and take a look at the fight. So here we are in Mythic Portal Keeper. Um, like I said earlier, we're going to three tank this boss. You can do it with two. But we found that it's much easier to do it with three. That way all the mechanics are handled properly. So it's easier for everybody else. So I'm actually playing the third tank here. Um, the the, ma the two main tanks on the boss on this fight. Are, they do three things. They taunt off at two debuffs. They bring her between star and nipple. And they interrupt and CC the ads. That's all they do for the entire fight. So you're going to see the mechanic part of it. Um, so one tank does all the, the platforms, which is all the mechanics, which is what I'm going to show you. So, since I'm not tanking, I let the uh, other tank get aggro, then I'm going to do burst damage. So if I were brand, um, soul cleaver, just as much burst damage as I can. Now, the timing on this is based on a current gear set. When we get more gear, this timing is going to change. So, I know that when the first Klepton world comes, I need to get up into the uh, poison portal. My damage on this fight is irrelevant. We're not doing this for damage. So what I'm going to look at here is the first fell barrage storm is coming, or fell storm barrage. So when she starts casting, that's when I pick up the poison debuff. Now there's two other DPS, um, the Rep Haladin and the uh, Havoc DH is also going to pick up the poison uh, debuff. So I'm going to wait till she starts casting, and then I'm going to pick it up. Now what we need to look at is the Felstorm Barrage itself. We can't take the portal down if the barrage is in front of the portal because you're going to get one shot. So we're going to get close and then we're going to watch for the third one. 
we're going to see the third one spawn right here. That means we can't go down. We have to wait. And then we're going to go down now. And then the portal just opened. So what we need to do for this new mythic mechanic is we need all three of these poisons to explode on the ad. Uh, it has a shield that does 90% uh, damage mitigation. So all three need to explode on him as soon as possible. It takes the shield off and then you can kill it. Um, it's an AOE explosion, so I use Archimonde's Hatred, um, the Power Wars, and everything else. Just to prevent the burst damage. Uh, everybody was stacked up in that. They really don't need to be. They probably shouldn't be, but it doesn't matter. So on Falconer, we do a taunt rotation. We called it out. So whenever we see it, I say, I got next. I interrupt it, somebody else says they got next. As long as you're vocal, you're fine. Now, he says he's in stable portals. You can interrupt it near the end of the cast, and he'll just sit here. But we don't. We just hit it and move on. Uh, I assigned myself, since I'm doing nothing but mechanics, myself and the other DH to handle the fire orbs. So as soon as we kill Valkaner, I'm going to pick up an orb, and so is the other uh, DH. So the biggest part here is, again, Fel Barrage. I need, I'm going to look to make sure there's no Fel Barrage in front of the portal. If there isn't, I'm going to go. Now, guaranteed, this is going to drop off before I get to the portal. So I'm going to go away from people over here and then drop it. And then once it's down, I'm going to pick it back up and place it here. How we have this set up is, let me get a better view. He's dropping his fire orb to the right. I'm dropping mine to the left. Two, one, two, one. And I base it on this middle platform here, this little symbol. And if you look here, we have one on each side, so when people land here, we can stand in the middle and then kill it. So never in the middle, not near the portal, just to the sides. And you can do it with one, which find it easier with two to be safe. So at this point, uh, we're just waiting until 60%. Uh, for the next portal. So what we're going to do is we're in at duty. We're here to interrupt them, silence them, group them together, and kill them. Because if they get a cast off, you might not die. But if they get two off, it's a wipe. So I'm just here focusing on ads, AOE silences, AOE grips, single target interrupts, all that good stuff. So my job here is not a tank, but it's to do damage on the little ads and to CC them. Like I said earlier, Sigil of Misery works, Sigil of Silence works, Arcane Torrent works, and uh, Sigil of Chains, I might have said that already, that also works. So now we just DPS and wait. Find the portal, go near it. Just DPS and interrupt, just my Arcane Torrent. Let's drop Sigil of Chains, Caps doesn't interrupt, we work together. Uh, if you're going to work this fight, it's between two things. The imps getting uh, explosions off and the poison portal, which you're going to see. So I see right now we're at 66%, about 64-ish. I'm going to go up to the shadow platform. Uh, me and we did two DPS, but I think we can get away with just one, but they have to stagger. So I'm going to get up here. I'm going to look at our health bar. I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to go back down. Now, I got lucky here, because I fell from Barrage. So I'm going to come down here to some CC real quick, and then I'm going to go. So how this works, this is the hardest part of the fight. Uh, basically, she's going to put a leech on the five closest people. That does 15% of your current HP. And then she's going to heal uh, five times of that damage. So what you do is you get this shadow debuff. That's going to explode and put a, a, a debuff on everybody in the circle. And that debuff will make sure everybody is immune to healing, which means she can't leech. So the goal is is to get all the melee in there. And once she casts leech, I'm going to get cleansed. That puts the debuff in the closest people to her, so she can't heal. And the hardest part is you can't get healed either. 
So you have to use uh, cooldowns and you have to make sure you break the uh, the webbing as soon as possible. And then in between the debuff, the healers need to try to top you off. And then you do it again. So everybody's going to come up here, we're going to group on her. Healers in range do not have to group on her unless they're, um, you don't have enough people up here. So here's the Leech Essence. And I just got cleansed as she was casting. So you see this debuff goes out, hits people here. Now they're immune to healing, which means she can't heal. And if you look down here, people are almost dead because they can't get healed, but it's falling off in one second and they're gonna, they need to get topped off as up. But she's casting another Leech Essence. So they're going to try to get topped off here. We're going to do it right there as another cleanse. We'll get the debuff again, so she can't heal. And if you look at the health bars, this is sketch. Um, if an amp downstairs get one cast off, we're all dead. So interrupts is extremely important. So right here we use a uh, probably the best cooldown for this, the rain, which uh, just takes our, our HP and just spreads it up uh, around. Uh, Spirit Link is what it's called, I was liking for a minute. So when she dies, the rest of the fight is heroic. Uh, we lost two people, one's gonna oh, we're gonna battle as the other. So we wanna look for Felstrom Barrage, which we don't drop out at bad times. So now we're just at ad duty again. CC and killing the ads. Yeah, do my arcane torrent, get everything grouped up. Just don't stand in the Felstrom Barrage. If two imps get uh, cast off, it's probably a wipe. It's that important. So now I'm just going to do passive damage with the next set of ads and the next platform. I don't use Sigil of Misery here. I should have at some point, but I didn't. I keep forgetting that it actually works in this fight. Beware. So, I was going to blame somebody else for this mistake coming up, but I'm not going to. Uh, for some reason, I was completely blinking out and thought the Shadow Portal opened at 40%. So I called for my uh, Portal team to go up at 40%. It's 30%, not 40 So we come up, and then it dawned on me that uh, we're early. So, this was, this was me. This was my fault. So we go back down for another 10%. Three, two, one. Uh, there was no prepping you have to do for this portal because we already did it. So we just need the fire orbs and nothing else. So drop chains, pull everything in, get those interrupts. This is the fight, like once you get done with the poison platform, this is pretty much home free if everybody's alive, or almost everybody's alive. So the portal's coming, I'm going up early because my damage is irrelevant down there. So we're going to stack up on top of each other next to a fire orb. And then I highly recommend bloodlusting on this ad. Because the quicker you can get your entire team downstairs, the less likely you're going to wipe. Because, again, you have a small team downstairs that's interrupting. If they miss interrupts, it's a wipe. So we bloodlust here, just to kill it as quickly as possible, so we can get right back downstairs. Alright, so here, she's guessing Philstone Barrage, or she's about to. So basically, these people here can't see down there. So that's not the best position. So I'm staying back here and I can see the floor. So you should stand by the fire and watch. Four, three, two, one. Uh, and we drop. And now it's basically kill the ads and you win. I'm at no point here you tunnel the boss. If she's at 1%, two imps get the cast off at the same time, it's a wipe. 
So you can't ever focus and just burn the boss. You have to kill the Atlas, always. Um, on this kill, somebody called out to focus her. I'm not sure who it was. Uh, but it almost cost us a wife. So again, just an ad duty. Okay, torrent. And then she should be down here. There's one more set of ads, and somebody was yelling to just burn the boss, but I highly recommend don't ever do that. Because she's at 3%, but if these imps can cast off, it's a wipe, so don't ever not kill them. Uh, also, the Dragon Breath uh, helmet here is awesome, by the way, for your mages if you have any. See right here? We didn't interrupt, and everybody almost died. Because somebody yelled to focus the boss. And there's the fight. Um, honestly, if you're the platform boss, or a tank, it's actually a lot of fun. I enjoy it. However, you can't parse, so if you want to parse, you have to stay downstairs, so uh, parse and be bored, or go up and have fun, but do poorly on, uh, on the meters. So, if you have any questions, please uh, post them in the comments, and thank you for watching.